What's taking so long? I need my money. I'm doing my best, but he's as tough as a stone. Or would you rather I torture him to death? You won't find out much then. Just give me time. He'll crack soon. Let's hope so. What the? Uh, that was him. Guess he took matters into his own hands. We'll have to find another way to get the information we need. Grim Facade. That's right, folks. We're going to be playing Grim Facade. I think this is the eighth in the series, and this is the beta. This is the red cat, and I'm doing this in front of the beautiful people at Hitbox, Twitch, and YouTube. I'm waving at you right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this one. This is, of course, by ERS Games, and I must say, that opening there seemed kind of dark. Uh, definitely feels like ERS Games is going for more of a darker themes in their more recent games. Uh, I'm not sure if this will take me outside of the gate. Oh, there's somebody over there. But let's just see if it brings up a list. Oh, it does. Okay, there we go. So there you have it. Spirits of Mystery. Yes, that is a famous series for them. I wish they did more Flights of Fancy, but they never did. Puppet Show, of course. Oh my gosh, so many good Puppet Show games. Redemption Cemetery. Dark Tales. Like, they, 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 they. Oh, look. You go back in time when they did Haunted Ho Halls, and they did Phantasmic. Remember those days when the ERS Games did all those? Anyways, I am ready to hit the play button, so let's go ahead and start the show here. We got Advanced, Hard, and Custom. Detective, our city is in desperate need of help. Someone is murdering people in their own homes. The maniac leaves a red cat symbol on the doors of his victims before he kills them. Today, the symbol appeared on my son's door. I beg of you, save my child. Mayor Marco Ricci. So what do you think, male or female hands? I want predictions in the chat. What do you got for me, male or female? Would we like to play with interactive help? Yes, please, features only. I do think it's also female as well. Dear Detective, our city is in desperate need of help. Someone is murdering people in their own homes. The maniac leaves a red cat symbol on the doors of his victims before he kills them. Today, the symbol appeared on my son's door. I beg of you, save my child. Mayor Marco Ricci. Well done, we have a pin. Wow, this looks so good. I love the look of this fog. Huh. All right, so let's see here. What are we going to do? Somebody must be going inside the house there. Oh, geez, startled me. I've got to get inside before that assassin strikes again. Oh, no, there was a red cat. Or oh, you think Melissa thinks it's a male? I don't know. Could be. You never know. What are genders, anyways? What do we have here? These wires are live. How can I remove them safely? I don't know. We got some pliers. We have electromagnetic instruction. Home of the Venetian city prosecutor, Sandro Ricci. Uh, will this work? Oh, these are insulated pliers. That's a pretty good hint for us to go over here. Yeah, insulated pliers are the best kind of pliers. There's fighting in the window. Really? It's missing an eye, and I doubt it's a pirate. Wait, up top? Oh, yeah, I see it over here. Holy cow, there's definitely fighting going on here. 
<laughs> wow. They are definitely struggling. Child of Ivy wants me to lock the inventory bar. But, but, look at it. My goodness, at least he left the key so I can get in. We have a lighter and we're gonna have that lit up in our pocket like it's nobody's business. We need to drag that key out through the hole on the window. I would say, uh, so what, uh, what do I have? 15,000 subscribers now on YouTube? And I know of at least 10 people that will either post a comment or send me a private message saying, why are you not locking the inventory bar? You need to do that. It's, you have to, you have to lock inventory bars. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, yeah, sometimes I do. Most of the time I do, but I don't know. I never really think about it. <laughs> but I think it offends some people when you don't. But look at the immersion you get. Like when the inventory bar is gone, look at that. I feel like I'm more in the game. It looks much better. Yes, that was vigorous exercise. Okay, so what do we have here? We're going to definitely need this. And we're going to definitely need that. And we have that. We just made an electromagnet so that we can get the key out of the window. Look at this. Ooh, I control it. Look at me, I'm so good. I like how there's lag too. You go slowly, it stays close, but if you go fast, I like that. Now have the front door key. <gasps> I don't believe it. The assassin picked the lock with a screwdriver. Can you hear the church bells? Listen. Oh, I thought I heard ch church bells. That screwdriver is going to be super handy. Ooh, look at this. It's the mark of the red cat. Yeah, of course she did. That's exactly what she meant. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, we have a puzzle. Gibby and Gibson. I actually had somebody, uh, many times actually, ask me if my real name was Gibson. <laughs> and I'm like, aw, I like that name. Gibson, that'd be a cool name. But no, my real name is not Gibson. Okay, so what do we got here? We gotta sort this out. Okay, let's see here. No, that doesn't look right. That's too, too chunky to go there. Ah, that looks not bad. Restore the circular image by swapping the pie pieces. Choose any two pieces. Yes, I heard you. Vigorous exercise. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think we had to put that there. So what am I missing here? Ooh, this looks so close to being finished here. Okay. I think we got it. Ooh, another part of the puzzle. Looks like we're going to be matching here. I appreciate the colors uh, to make it a little easier to spot the match. Now what are we doing? Swap the tokens so the colors match each side. And we can jump them, so to speak. It's like a super puzzle. Wow, ERS Games has a super puzzle. That's pretty cool. Round and round we go, where we stop. 
exactly sure what this is supposed to look like. Oh, I think we got it over this way. I don't even know what that symbol was, but anyways. Uh, it is a dark, dark place, and I don't know if I want to go into the dark place. We have a scene of a struggle for sure. I need some light so I don't trip over anything or anyone. That was a very chunky bit of work to open the front door. Oh, I have a lighter. <gasps> What? Oh no, my lighter is dead. How? Oh, what? Why? Lighter. Oh, okay, there we go. Phew. Help, please. Get this thing off of me. I kind of... What kind of twisted imagination devised such a contraption? You know what this reminds me here? It reminds me of the Scarab from Resident Evil. All right, Mr. Spider. It's a collection, apparently. And we have a shawl. And a ruby eye. Ooh, we have an angel and a devil. Which one is which? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Which is which? Which which is which? Whoa. I need to unscrew it. Good thing I have a screwdriver. Okay. I haven't seen a lock like this before. Pin. No. A good thing I have got a bolt, though. Yes. Whoa, dude. Where the heck did you come from? Ha ha ha. Startle me big time. What are you doing lurking around in the shadows? Thank goodness you arrived in time. I know the type of key that should unlock this contraption. We used them a long time ago. There might be one here in the office. I'd better not touch him. I don't want to set anything off. I trust you, detective. Please, hurry. Yes, that's right. The horns were halo props. Yes, wink, wink. Uh, I think he did come out of the closet because I didn't see him when we first came into this room. He seems awful calm about the fact that his son's being held hostage in this spider contraption. Look how calm he is. There's no time to lose. Find the key and free my son. This just makes me think of a, a comic book. I love There's it. There's no time to lose. Find the key and... Yes, yes, yes. Angel wing. Oh, I think they have this backwards. Maybe. I do love their outfits, though. These are really nice. I like how the top is all armor and the bottom is all, like, fabric-y. That's kind of neat. I like how there's a talk clicking, too. Like, that's giving me a sense of, hurry up. We need to hurry up. Mr. Octopus wants his eyeball back. And we have another wing. At this time, it's the devil wing. Hmm. I get it. The eyes open the lanterns. This means I need another eye. Eye, eye. All right, let's put the angel's wing back. Whose facial hair? You like the, the mayor's or the son's facial hair? Which one? All right, folks, we've got some uh, clicky clicky to do here. Leaning Tower of Pisa apparently is what we're going to be building. Uh, we have a cat here. <gasps> it looks like a sassy cat. All right, folks, tell me that game that had the sassy cat in it. It was like Towers of the Soul, I think. Does that ring any bells for you folks? Sassy cat. I swear there was a... He looks exactly like sassy cat. Uh, 
Oh, I see. That must be the other part of his body. Oh no, he was actually in the previous Grim Grim facades. Now that I think about it, I I am so bad because a lot of these games just blend together. But I'm fairly certain he was in the previous Grim facades. What was the game where we we died like five times or something? Yeah, that's right. We kept dying and he would tell us riddles to revive us. Exactly. Hey, what am I looking for? Am I supposed to be placing this or what's the deal here? Compass. Oh. Oh, I think we got to put this back here. I Yeah, I... I I am certain now it was from other Grim Facade games. But he was also in another game too though. I'm pretty sure it was called Two Souls? Power of Two Souls? Something like that. It looked exactly like him. He was a talking cat. Okay, so we have a star-shaped key. 